Right now, the CDC is advertising people throw away all their romaine lettuce because it's got E. coli on it. E. coli, the evil coli, and it can really hurt you. So today on Uno Dos Trace, I got some questions. Are we worried about food waste? Why is it always romaine? Is all E. coli bad? What exactly is going on? Whew. Hey there, nerd fam. I just want to stop for a second. We just hit 16,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? I am so excited and I'm so proud and I'm really happy. I'm getting emotional. Okay, okay, okay. Back to the bloody poop bacteria because that's what y'all came here for, right? Escheria coli, I think it said. Escheria, Escherichia coli. Escheria, Escheria, Escheria. Escherichia coli, or E. coli, is a rod-shaped bacteria that looks exactly like you would expect. And it is the star of the show right now because there's an outbreak in the news causing bloody diarrhea, kidney failure, and possible death. It's really scary, but the best way to get over fear is to understand it. So, let me be a voice of both caution and reason. Firstly, E. coli isn't always evil. E. coli is a very common bacteria, very. You have a bunch of it in you right now, seriously. Bacteria make up one to 3% of your mass, and E. coli might be about 1% of that. If you're average, that means about 19 grams or two thirds of an ounce of E. coli could be in you right now. That's the equivalent of about one mouse or four dice. Can you imagine that? Just bacteria, little mouse bacteria. Ooh, I love it. Find out your kilos, do the math, post them in the comments. Seriously, I wanna know how much E. coli is in you. Good E. coli strains in your gut help us break down waste, absorb vitamin K, and digest food. Gut bugs, take the wheel! But E. coli also has helped us learn about bacteria in the lab. It's one of the most widely studied of all bacteria. There are over 200 different types, and they can reproduce in just 20 minutes. So after seven hours, one bacteria can become more than two million. But again, don't worry, only a few strains of this bacteria can cause illness, and the real goatee-wearing evil coli is O157H7. In 2006, O157H7 got on spinach and made hundreds of people sick. In 2011, it was alfalfa. In 2017 and 2018, it's been romaine. And this all comes down to where these things come from, and also our poop tubes. O157H7 produces the Shiga toxin, one of the most potent toxins from any known bacteria. And more seriously, the toxin affects your cells at the genetic level, causing all sorts of symptoms, including bloody diarrhea and sometimes kidney failure. It does this by binding to proteins that can affect adenine in your RNA, which makes it very difficult to treat. Treatment is in fact minimal because even antibacterial medicines just make this strain stronger. You just have to hope you'll be okay and that you're not in the five to 10% that nothing can be done. The bacteria gets into your body through poopy contamination. See, O157H7 doesn't actually live in your body, but in other warm-blooded animals like goats and sheep, deer, elk, and cattle, when their poop gets into surface water or groundwater, the bacteria go with it, which is how we get all this food outbreaks because poop got on your salad. So just throw away the lettuce, just throw it away, just throw it away. It's not that romaine is extra susceptible to E. coli, it's just that it's grown and consumed in such a way that we never fully confirm the bacteria on them is dead. For example, meat get O157H7 on it too, and then it gets mixed in during the slaughtering and processing process. It happens all the time, actually. Think about that, because everything is poop. If not now, later. The thing is, meat gets cooked, but salad usually doesn't. Without that definite kill stage, we can't be 100% confident that leafy greens are cleaned after harvest, which is why the FDA tries to make sure that they're clean before. So when outbreaks do happen, they investigate and they try and pinpoint the specific field it came from, which sometimes works out. In 2006, they found out that the romaine had livestock containing poopy 0157H7 nearby and contaminated water was used to irrigate the greens. Poop spray on your salad. So if you have romaine in the fridge, again, toss it, throw it away. Probably you've already done this knowing it's got poop on it. Also clean the drawer that it was in too, or maybe the whole fridge. You know what, actually just move. Just get out of there, just burn the house down, it's fine. Ugh, your call. Trust the CDC on this though, period, the end. E. coli does end up being the butt of a lot of jokes, but it's not the end all be all. If you're worried about spreading E. coli yourself, just keep your pants on. 
Yeah, an actual study was done on this, where an enterprising scientist was worried about contaminating a sterile environment with farts. So they asked a colleague to fart onto a Petri dish like you do normal Saturday, once with pants on, once with trow dropped normal Sunday, and it turns out the gas sterilizes the area and the pants keep any <coughs> spray in. So as long as you're wearing pants, you're fine. I love scientists. Poop conversation is obviously the perfect thing to chat about during Thanksgiving dinner. It's way better than crappy politics, right? I was in the NerdFam Discord this week and it sounds like there's gonna be some delicious meals happening. <laughs> Poop. Poop. Join the Patreon, you can come talk food with us too. Subscribe, share. Thank you for 16,000. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Iscaria.